Hi, uh, today we're just doing a quick video on doing a, the, the brake pads replacement on either a Peugeot 308 or Citroen C4 Picasso. Um, kind of from, I think about 11 or 12 onwards. Um, so we're on a 308 today, so sorry, I'll just go back here. one we're on is a 308 T9 and it'll be the same for the equivalent then in the Citroen, Citroen's C4 or C4 Picasso's. So go individual system, chassis, anti-lock braking system, ESP9, it's the system. Sorry, just make sure you have a, a battery charger connected because sometimes it can be high enough current draw when it's unwinding the calipers, so you don't want the battery voltage to dip too low during this in case it can it can it can do damage to control unit or something. So you can read through the instructions here. So we just go to adaption. We make sure we start off with the handbrake off. Go to adaption. Replacement parts. Replacement of brake pads. So it tells you here, the brake pad replacement procedure permits placing the motorized calipers in the fully released position in order to extract the pad. So in the fully released or in a released position so you can um, push back or wind back the piston. Before starting the brake pads replacement procedure, put the vehicle on a lift with the wheels suspended. So do you want to proceed? And now if you listen carefully, you can hear, hear the electric calipers on Wineland. So procedure terminated motorized brake calipers in fully released position. Apply range so you go ahead then and replace your brake pads and then when you're done it's very simple to put it back so you just follow the replacement of the brake pads and then press on the park and brakes button to apply the motorized brake calipers. So we're fin done there now, but if we try to do that now while we're still communicating, it won't work. So we have to exit fully back out. And now press the brake pedal down a little bit, pull the switch, you'll hear the motor is buzzing again, and then eventually it'll likely come on. So now that's uh, taken out of the service mode. So it's just one other thing then to check if after doing this you end up with this file code C155D00 automatic application function inhibit fault. If you end up with that file code and the AHO handbrake release and stuff are not working and that uh, uh, bottom yellow warning light is staying on, AHO P off. So that's for the handbrake automatically releases now when you start moving off. If that's not working and you have that file code, then you need to go back into adaptions and go specific after sales operation and go reactivation of automatic application of the electric park and brake. Carry out the electrically controlled park and brake automatic application reactivation procedure only when the fault automatic application function C one five five D stroke zero zero deactivated is present. So yeah and we have that present. So now we're going to do it. Do we want to proceed? Procedure terminated. Reactivation procedure done. Switch off ignition. Switch it on again. Check the operation of the automatic application of the park and brake and I can exit back out now and just check the fault and the fault is gone and our yellow warning light up here is gone. So that should be it, we should be ready to go. I'm not sure if this fault or this problem happens every time after doing pads, but if it does happen, this is, this is all you have to do. 
Okay, thank you.